okay now before to start uh, checking the offset and the calibration of the x y and the z axis we need to reset the memory of the motherboard how to do it press menu press setting press machine then eprom then reset and then when you receive this message you press only ok and you reset the machine that's it now we can calibrate the machine and store the offset inside the, the motherboard of the trimmer so first of all we have to make the homing of the machine so we go to menu we go to movement then we go to home and then we press home again so the machine goes to home make the homing of the three axes now to check the offset of the z axis you just go with the movement of the machine on the left closing to the center and then you move down with the blue arrow the z axis then you switch for zero one until it go closer to the to the plate you put your piece of paper you change again from 1 to 0 0.1 you go down again until it scratches okay this is the zero of our z axis i will show you on the panel right now how to store the Z offset. Now you see that the Z value is 8.1 millimeter. How to store this offset inside the trimmer? So you go back, you go back again, then you go to terminal and you uh, type M206, then space, then Z minus 8.1 and you press send you see that here now the Z is 0 to store this value inside the trimmer you go back and you press M500 and then send and then back again and back again and you see that the value is stored Let's see how to do it also for X and Y axis. So now we use the calibration plate to check the offset of the X axis touching the end mill this side of the wall of the, wall of the calibration plate and the Y axis touching this part of the wall of the calibration plate. So let's see how to do it. First of all, we need to make always the homing of the machine, pressing home and home two times. And now we move manually with the, the movement panel of the trimmer. So we go closer to the center. Then we go down. We go close again to the wall, then we change from uh, 10 to 1 millimeter to go closer to the wall, and then again a little bit more down. And then we use our piece of paper. We switch for 0 0.1 when we are very close, and we go close to the wall until. The end mill touches the paper. Okay, it touches, so it touches and it should touch very strong the paper. So you need uh, almost uh, scratch 
and break the paper. It should be very, very, very close. Now I see on the screen minus 4.3. Okay, now you see that uh, the x offset is minus 4.3 and what we have to put in the uh, trimmer is uh, 4.3 without minus. I will show you how to do it. We go back, back again, terminal, M206 again, then space, then x and then 4.3. And then we press send. And then here you see that x is 0. We store this value in the trimmer again with m500. We send back, back again, and the value is stored. Okay, now from this position we need to go close to this wall and touch the end mill to the wall. So we go further a little bit with the y-axis until it goes after the wall we go on the left we go a little bit up so one important thing is here do you see that uh, here is the working part of the end mill the working part of the end mill should touch the wall not this conus so we go a little bit up up again that only the working part of the end mill will touch the wall. This is very important because otherwise you will touch this part, this not working part of the end mill to the wall and you will have an added value. So in this way we put our piece of paper, we go closer with which from 1 to 0 0.1 to make smaller steps. We move, move, move until it touches. Okay, here you see that there is a touch. Okay, also for the y axis, in the same way, we have to store the offset of y axis that here is 0 0.1. So we have to put minus 0 0.1 inside the machine. We go back, back again, terminal, M206 again, space, X minus 0 0.1. And then we press send. And you see here that the Y is 0. We go back, we store this value, M500, and then we press send back back again and now all the offset are stored inside the machine so okay now after storing all the offsets inside the machine we can test our atrium with uh, an already made model and we will see the result of the trimming let's see together how it works Okay, here is uh, our final result. You see here that is uh, so the the model is trimmed everywhere. So you can just do like this and like that, and you remove the thermoforming sheet all around the model. So that's it. So that's it for today, thank you very much to all of you to follow our project and uh, bye!